Come on stage has been on at least two television shows, and they're people that are really making a difference. So it doesn't matter if they've been on a million shows. This is a great place to work out, and we only support the best comics. So our first, our next performer rather come to stage. You're gonna love him. He's been on Comedy Central. Give it up for Sherwin Arrange. Yeah. 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 To black people, music is motivational. Like, you guys, I was so excited to do this show just so I could dance a little bit like that. <laughs> you know, black people cannot have a comedy show without music. You, you can't do it. It's like having fries without ketchup. I mean, it's just, you can eat it, but like, why would you, you know? The DJ is the most important person in a black comedy show. I tell you right now, give it up for DJ Sidekick. That's the most, that dude is, the most important part, hey, listen, I've seen comedians get off the stage and leave to come back up because they didn't like the song that he brought them up to. They're like, you know what, I can't even do it, man. I'm out of here. This is bullshit. How you gonna do me like that, DJ? You did all this dancing shit in a white shirt? I would violate the lease, goddamn it. You can't do that. <laughs> Billy, where'd you go last night? Well, we went to what we thought was gonna be a comedy show. Actually turned out to be a dance show. <laughs> yeah, dude, white people make me laugh. Black people, you ever see white people when they go out to dinner? They like to fight over the bill when it comes. <laughs> white people fight when the bill comes because they want to pay it. Billy, I got this one, Billy. Let me, no, no, Billy, let me get this one. No, no, Michael, I got this one. You just got a new landscaper. Don't do this to yourself, Billy. <laughs> You know what, Bobby? You do this one more time and you're out of here. You know what? That's it. I'm giving you a technical. You're out of here. I saw a white dude throw his friend out of the restaurant for trying to pay the bill. <laughs> Meanwhile, black people, you guys go out to dinner, you get the bill, all of a sudden you lose your memory. You're like, wait a minute, I didn't order all this shit. <laughs> See, I know I ate it, but I didn't order it. <laughs> and which one of you mess around and order gratuity? What is this? <laughs> I, love I love it. Black people, I love you guys. I really, my best friend is black. He's here. Brandon Wilde, you guys saw him earlier tonight. He is my best friend. Give it up for Brandon Wilde. He's sick, you guys saw. Where do you go, Brandon? Where are you, buddy? Oh, well. <laughs> to which I can't really respond, but, uh, You know, hanging out with Brandon, uh, black people, I am learning so much about your culture and your people and what it really means when you're driving and that gaslight comes on, you know. You no, know, see, because... Uh, let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. See, to me... <laughs> Listen, to white people, the gaslight means begin to look for a refueling station. <laughs> without alarming your fellow passengers. To ensure that you arrive safely at your final destination. To black people, it means, nigga, you close. <laughs> If you happen to see a gas station and you want to stop, get you something to eat, you got a little change left over, you want to throw it in the tank, that's cool. But the rest of this trip downhill, baby, we good. You don't even worry about this. That's the difference. <laughs> Did I really say that? <laughs> just, it's hanging out with Brandon, I tell you. It's, you know. Don't trip, you good. I love that line. I tell you, man, it's, you know, having a, <laughs> having a friend like Brandon, when your best friend is black and you're not black, it, it, it poses some funny situations because there's things that Brandon, everything Brandon does, I want to do. Everything. 
anything. We're in a car the other day. We're stopped at a traffic light. Two beautiful black women cross the street. Brandon rolls the window down and says, you might want to get that pussy to a real now. <laughs> jealous because I want to present them with the same offer. Okay? So I asked Brandon. I said, Brandon, is it okay if I give it a shot? Brandon says, do you, baby? We spend the rest of the day driving around Los Angeles looking for this same situation to unfold. Sure enough, we find the same situation. We're stopped at the traffic light. Two beautiful black women are crossing the street. I look at Brandon. I say, Brandon, do I have you okay? He says, do you, my baby? I say, okay. I roll the window down. I say, excuse me, sweetheart. Why don't you get that pussy to a real nail? She looks at me and says, uh, where the nigga at? <laughs> And I responded like every black man would. That's that bullshit I'm talking about right there. And you better understand you're fucking with a real one, okay? <laughs> give me some. Give me some. Give, give. Black people shake hands five times. Fuck. Give it to me. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They like to participate in the show. It makes me feel good. I'm gonna get back to the car tonight after those last couple of jokes. That's good. Yeah. It's funny, man. I see a lot of beautiful black women in here tonight. Hello, welcome, ladies. Hello, hello, hello. Beautiful. They're looking down like, don't talk to me. Don't talk, don't talk to me. I'm not one of those ladies. Black women, I love black women because black women, when you make them laugh, black women are the only people that can compliment you by insulting you when you make them laugh. You make black women laugh, sure, when you stupid. Really? You return. You get on my nerves. Oh, I hate you! I hate you too, shit. You might want to get that pussy through a real man. <laughs> oh, man. I asked a black woman out on date. I said, baby, I would love to take you out sometime. She said, where are you trying to take me? You ain't gonna have me wearing no damn sheet. Taliban, this ain't Talibu we got down here. Right Forget that. <laughs> and sure enough, sure enough, my dream came true. The other day, I'm in Starbucks and I got hit on by a black woman. Because I had been wishing for this, just to see what would happen. I'm in line at Starbucks getting a little cappuccino, that's what we drink, okay? I'm in line, I'm getting my cappuccino. And this lady behind me says to me, you know, you have very nice eyes. I'm thinking she won't get that pussy to a real nail. So, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this with 200 black people. Okay. Um, James, security, we good? Anybody? Okay. Um, <laughs> you have very nice eyes. Have you ever been with a black woman before? And I said, well, no. As a matter of fact, I have not ever been with a black woman before. She said, you know, uh, once you go black, you never go back. And I said, she, once you go in my van, you go to Afghanistan. finished the equation, she came right back at me. She was like, I would go to Afghanistan. I said, shit, I would. <laughs> Afghanistan is dangerous. <laughs> she keeps coming at me. She says, you know, we really would have very beautiful children together. And I was, you know, I was flattered. I was touched. 
And I said, listen, you know, I don't really have time for marriage and kids and all that. So she said, well, would you consider just donating your sperm to me? Hold on a minute. Let me, let me get this straight. You want the juice, but you don't want to squeeze the orange? Is that what you're telling me? You want the water, but you don't want to work the way. Be damned, I'm not giving you my sperm. Are you crazy? If I give her my sperm, for as soon as that boy messes up, she's gonna call me. You need to come get this little motherfucker. <laughs> Why do I need to come get him? He said he got a bomb under the bed. <laughs> I need you to come turn the bomb off. <laughs> my show about to come off. I said, well, let me tell you something. Uh, the terms of the deal were donate not teammate so as far as i'm concerned you're on your own but i will give you this advice next time you do something like this you might want to get that pussy to a real nigga my name is sherwin and i like this motherfucker <laughs> Sure, what an extra black. That nigga almost knocked me down. I'm confused, but I don't know who is what. But the black dude was a gangster rapper. Fuck me up. I thought he was Indian. He a nigga. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'll wait for him to be like, where the nigga? What is he talking like? Where did, 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 where did,